Yes guys, this is Guys Gossip. Welcome back to another video. It's been a while since I've said that. A couple of weeks, I think. But today, I'm hopefully off to a great game. Chelsea v Everton. Now, a lot of games this week have been postponed because of COVID. And I haven't been happy. My fantasy team has not been going well. But tonight, I'm hoping for a good game. Chelsea have been a bit shaky recently, but did just win their last game against Leeds. 3-2 in the dying minutes of the game. 94th minute by Jorginho penalty. Everton, however, having a shocker of a season. So they started off so, so well. And last game, they lost 3-1 to Crystal Palace, who, albeit, are in decent form. If Everton are making those kind of signings in the past few seasons, they really should be pushing for that European spot. If I had to give my score prediction now, then I'm going to go with a 2-1 Chelsea win. I think they will concede because they did last time out against Leeds. But I hope they don't because I have Alonso in my team. So hopefully he can score or get an assist and a clean sheet tonight. But the train is coming. I need to get to Stamford Bridge. And I'll see you guys at the bridge. <laughs> Already had a little bit of trouble with the trains, as per usual. I need to change up my lane now, in which is brilliant. More well, trains for me. Absolutely great. I swear to God, every time I go to football games, there's something messed up with the trains. And it's happened again. Ugh. Massive delay on the train, so busy. I finally got her from the Broadway station. It's time for Chelsea Everton. Let's hope we're in for a good game today. It's been actually a while since I've gone to a game, um, but now I've got a feel for it because there was nearly a massive fight on the underground. Everton Chelsea fans, it was building up in the train, but here, guys, I catch you in the stadium. As COVID's not only at the games this week, but it's also at Chelsea. They start with Pulisic and ZF up front. Havertz isn't even playing. Lukaku's not in the squad. Neither is Werner. Right, we're in the stadium now. Decent seats. Also, Mount keeps his place. Chelsea will be happy about that. But also, Everton, they've got to start with some guy called Sims up top. Everton obviously struggling for strikers. Kavalun's out, Richarlison's out. The A minutes still kick off now. As I said, I think it'll be a 2 1 Chelsea win, but let's wait and see now. has been lacking so far in this game. Yeah, I think Chelsea will win this 2-0. Let's see in the second half. I also saw before the game that Everton had a made Rafa, we want Rafa out. 
banner. And that hasn't been shown as of yet, maybe because they're drawing and they have defended quite well. Let's see if that changes in the second half and see if they bring it out. I think Chelsea will score and if they do, I think it's coming out and it might be Rafa's time to go, to be honest. Everton haven't offered anything going forward. They've been very poor. Second half is underway. Great chance for Chelsea, just headed over from Alonso's corner. Still makes no nil. What a chance for Chelsea, great ball in by Reese James. I think it was ZF, really wise. Alonso and Loftus cheek off for Chelsea, and Barkley on against the former club. Deserve. They've been all on top of Everton. They finally get their award. 1 0 Chelsea. Yeah. Mm. It's an equaliser Everton score with a long ball in the box. It was tapped in the far post. 1 1. Thing inevitable Bird just got booked for simulation, trying to get a penalty to win it, but he got booked for simulation. That's poor. Cool. Thiago <laughs> Silva near wins it. What a save by Pickford. 1 all. Silva man. Only around five minutes left now, plus stoppage time. If any goal were to come in, it would be Chelsea. Yes, guys, so that is it. Chelsea draw 1 all with Everton. Chelsea won another, a bit disappointed for them in the end, but very disappointing. Everton, they defended very well and they're hitting the break. Things that Chelsea can't really let them happen to them if they're going to push for that league. Man City, obviously, they're very strong at doing this and breaking the lines and stopping counter-attacks. And Liverpool also won tonight, so it puts Chelsea a bit further behind again. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like on this video, follow all my social medias, and I'll be back. Hopefully, if Kobe doesn't hear on Sunday with a Spurs free Liverpool vlog, which I know you guys will love, I'll be back soon with another video. Subscribe if you're new, and for now, I'll see you next time.